Welcome back to my channel guys, it's me Joseph the Soigne Baker. Today we're doing something very simple. We're evoking the warm fragrance spice of cinnamon. We're making a cinnamon vanilla pound cake. I'm sure you're going to love it, it's nice and simple and it leaves a lot of room for versatility so you can add your own zhuzh to it however you like. So let's get started. Okay we're going to start with a bunt pan which I've already greased this with what y'all know is my favorite secret weapon, Baker's Joy. I just spray it in there and then I spread it with my silicone brush to make sure it's gotten in every nook and cranny. So <clears throat> this is something that my auntie asked me to make for her. I'm going to start by with the topping of course. So a little bit of pecans, I'm going to toss them in some flour and then I'm going to just line the bottom of this pan with them <clears throat> and we'll go from there. Alright, so I've got them nice and coated and ready to go in there. I'm not going to do too many in there, just enough to, so that when that topping comes out, when this cake comes out of this pan, that's going to be on top. It'll be nice and pretty. Alright, that's all we need for that. I'm going to set that to the side. Alright, so let's get started. We're going to get started with three sticks of room temperature butter. Mix over here so y'all can see what's going on. Alright, we're going to let this go for about two minutes or so. Meanwhile, I'm going to measure out three cups of sugar. This is a one and a half measuring cup, so we'll just take two of these. Now once it starts to remember, resemble this uh, sand-like, gritty consistency, then you know you've, you've mixed it well enough. You don't want to overbeat this recipe, but you can add, this is the portion where you're adding air. The sugar cutting in, the sugar crystals cutting into the butter, that's what creates your air and fluffiness of your cake. So we're going to continue, we're going to add our six eggs. Okay, so now we're going to give everything a good scrape down and we'll be ready to add in the rest of our ingredients. This is a recipe that pound cake is always really quick and easy. It's all about, like I've said in past videos, preparation. You have all your ingredients ready. You especially want to have your cold ingredients at room temperature. That will stop your cake from shrinking, contracting back from the pan once it's in the oven. Alright, so I've got three cups of flour here and three teaspoons of baking powder. We're going to add them in along with our milk.
Now we're going to add our extracts. Uh, of course, my vanilla extract. Uh, you can do this to taste. Probably about um, three teaspoons should do it. I just pour until it feels good. And if you can ever get your hands on some of this, this will take any cake you're making to another level. It's amazing. I'm going to add some of this to about two teaspoons of this. about ready and give it another scrape down So now she's, uh, this one is just about ready to go in the oven, but we're going to Alright, now we're ready to go into the oven. Let's, uh, I'm going to use this measuring scoop here I'm going to scoop some in because it's very important that it when you have a bump pan like this you want it to get in every nook and cranny so I all right now it's important when I get to the top of this bump I just spread it out to the edges So that relief will be caught everywhere. <coughs> okay, our pound cake has come out of the oven and she is absolutely beautiful. You can see how those pecans have gone down there. It's going to take a little dusting off. I'm going to get some of that flour off the top of there. But she's absolutely beautiful. Let's cut a slice and see what she looks like on the inside. Okay, so there's not as much of a swirl as I would like, but she is still beautiful and moist and fluffy. Let's take a closer look. Oh yeah, that's beautiful right there. Look at that texture. That's a wonderful texture. That's what you want to see when you're making a pound cake. Nice and soft and fluffy. Absolutely delicious. I'm going to make a glaze to go on top of this. Meantime, I'm, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you do, please make sure you like and subscribe so you can get more videos like this in your feed. And whatever you do, keep baking. <laughs>